Hello there, welcome to Energize with Emily. Thank you so much for joining me. I love showing you guys you can get a great workout in with limited time, space, and equipment. Today is upper body strengthening day, and um, I'm gonna be using my 10s and 15s, but I do have my 5, 8s, 10s, and 15s here, um, so we will see, but my plan is 10 and 15 pound weights. How we're gonna do today's workout, it's just gonna be, I think it's gonna be about 10 minutes all together. We're gonna be doing 10 exercises all together, and it's gonna be 10 reps of each exercise. I'm gonna do a chest exercise, then I'm gonna do back, biceps, shoulders, triceps. And then I'm gonna show you guys another exercise for that same muscle group. So we're gonna be working those five muscle groups, 10 exercises all together, 10 reps of each. We're gonna get this done, lickety split. And then if you guys wanna do this workout again, you can do it again. If you wanna add it to a workout, you can do that, whatever works for you. Like I always say, I love showing you guys you can get a great workout right from home, limited time, space, and equipment. I'm a single mom of two working full time. So yes, I like to find a way to get a workout in. And you guys, strength training is a game changer. You need to do strength training three to four times a week. It burns calories longer, boosts your metabolism, and develop lean muscle, right? So we're gonna get started with our warm up, and I will show you guys modifications. Generally, with the weight training exercises, the modification would be to lift lighter. All right, so that's generally how the um, today what the modifications would be is just to lift lighter. All right, but we're gonna get started, and I always start with a little bit of cardio and a little stretch our arms. All right, I like to start with our butt kicks. Remember, you can take out the impact, just go like this. But I always like to do a little bit of cardio, get that heart pumping. And then we do our jumping jacks, which you can step out to the side like that. Keep that core tucked in. Now we're going to do our windmills going forward. Windmills going back. We're going to do a chest opener to a hug chest opener to a hug. Do a little bit of a shoulder stretch. One more on each side of this. Tricep stretch, working all those upper body muscles. Stretch that back. Ooh, put the hands behind you, stretch those shoulders and chest. You're gonna be working those. One more, and then we'll get started. All right, you guys, get some water and I'll show you guys our first exercise. It's gonna be 10 reps and be going pretty quick through each exercise. All right, let me aim this down. All right, so I'm gonna start, for reference, I'm gonna start with 15s. We're gonna start on the ground, a neutral chest press. Like I said, just 10 reps in each exercise. Lie on the ground. You're gonna have um, your bend your knees, feet on the ground. And what you're gonna do, keep those, keep your arms close to your body. Your palms are gonna face each other. And then you're gonna go up over your chest and back down. Up, back down. All right, so like I said, you modify by lifting lighter weights. I've got 15s. So if you guys are ready, we're gonna do 10 reps. Here we go. exercise is going to be a neutral row. So you're going to be bent over row. Okay, 45 degree angle. Keep that back flat core tucked in. Weights are going to be facing each other and you're going to come in a row and try to touch those shoulder blades together and back. Shoulder blades together and back. 
right? Like I said, you'd modify by not using heavy weights. I'm using 15s for this, 10 reps. You guys are ready? Here we go. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Great job, great job. Next one is going to be a hammer curl. For this one, I'm going to use my 10 pound weights. So, hammer curl, you're going to have the weights facing each other. Again, your palms, I mean, facing each other. What you're gonna do, weights toward your shoulders, keep the arms close to your body, just like this. All right? You guys ready? We got 10 reps. Here we go. That's four. Woo! Six. Seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Good job. Woo. Stretch that out. If you can only do eight or six or eight reps, you need to rest. That's okay, you guys. Like I said, with this video, go through it again. You can wind it if you want um, and do it again. All right, next is going to be a neutral shoulder press. Feet shoulder width apart. Weights um, at your shoulders, palms facing each other again, and then go up, down your shoulders, up, down your shoulders. All right, we're gonna do 10 reps, keep that core tucked in, slight bend in your knees. All right, here we go, focus on form. I breathe out when I go up. Focus on form, not speed. If I'm going too fast, you can slow it down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew, good job. All right, the last exercise is going to be a tricep um, exercise overhead tricep extension. I'm going to use just one weight for this, my 15 pounds. Bring it over your head. I'm going to hold the top of the weight. Keep your arms close to your ears. I'll show you the side view. And go up and down. Tricep extension. Up and down. I try not to do too many so I don't get tired. But um, like I said, you modify by lifting lighter weight. Here we go. Ten of them. Keep those arms close to your ears. Nine. One more. Ten. Whew. High five, high five, you guys. That is the first set of exercises. So next we're going to do another set of exercises. Same idea. One chest, one back, one biceps, one shoulders, one triceps. All right. Ten reps of each. And then we'll be done for the day. Back down to the ground. This time we're doing wide chest press. We did we start with narrow. Now we're gonna do wide. Back on the ground. All right, knees bent. So this time your arms are out wide. And what you're gonna do is go up and over your chest. Back down. You're not gonna touch the ground though when you go down. Up over your chest, and you don't go down. Alright, we're gonna do 10 reps. Like with the other exercise, you modify by night. Lifting is heavy. I'm using 15s for reference. Keep that core tucked in. If you guys are ready, here we go. Ten of them. Breathe out when you go up. Remember, your arms don't touch the ground when you go down. This is eight, nine, 
10. Put the weights down. All right, the next one is gonna be a wide row. We did a narrow row to start out with. Now we're gonna do a wide row. Let me adjust this camera here. All right, so bent over row, wide row. So like we were doing before, hinging at the hips. This time your um, weights are gonna be, like the sides of them are gonna face each other. Palms are facing toward your legs. And you're gonna go the, wide. And you're still trying to get those shoulder blades to touch each other. All right? Whew. All right, so remember, modify, don't let this heavy. Focus on form, not speed. We have 10 of them, 10 wide rows. Here we go. Slow and controlled. Touch those shoulder blades if you can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Ten. Whew. High five, high five. Next, we're going to do bicep curls. Adjust this. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna use my tens for this bicep curls. I'm gonna bring the weight, still keep those arms close to your body. You're gonna bring the weights to your shoulders, back down, to your shoulders, back down. 10 reps, keep that core tucked in. You guys ready? Here we go, bicep curls. Slow and controlled. That's three. Focus on form, not speed. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Good job, good job. Next one is going to be a shoulder press. We did the narrow shoulder press before. Now we're going to increase those weights. So the palms are facing out. I'm gonna go up. And you wanna put those elbows at 90 when you go down. Back up, elbows at 90. All right? Keep that core tucked in. Focus on form, FOF, focus on form, not speed. We got 10 of them. All right, here we go. Breathe out when you go up. Keep those elbows at 90. We have one more exercise. I'm going to see if I can stick with these tens. It's going to be a tricep kickback. Let me see when I do this. All right, so what you're going to do, like you're going to bend over, hinging at the hips again, and you're going to kick back, and you're going to keep those arms close to your body. Kick back, and what you can do to modify is alternating one arm. All right, kick back, and then kick back the other. I'm going to try it with these tens. Last exercise, you guys. You're doing awesome. Last exercise, tricep kickback, 10 reps, hinging at the hips. Here we go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, you guys see a quick 10. I think I took about 10 minutes, you guys. But upper body strengthening done. Like I said, with this workout, you can rewind it. You can play it again. You can do it after one of your workouts. If you've got leg day, ab day, whatever. You, like I said, you can do it a couple times. That's the workout for today, you guys. We're going to do our cool down, stretch out those arms. A warm up and a cool down are so important. Warm up, you got to warm up those muscles. Cool down, the muscles are, are warm, so you got to stretch them out. So it helps prevent injury, improves flexibility, and so you're not so sore. Stretch out those shoulders. 
See, I love showing you guys you can get a great workout in. Limited time, space, and equipment. I always say that. You can do it right from home. Love it. Stretch out the back. Stretch out your shoulders and your chest. Oh, it's a good one. One more. And that, you guys, we are done. So I always let you guys know, the workouts that I do are just part of a larger picture. It's a program I've been doing for over the past five years, you guys. It streams through any device, over 80 programs, 2,000 workouts all together. I started out as a beginner five years ago using my three and five pound weights. I modified a lot. And then, you know, you just gotta trust the process, you guys. I always say you didn't learn how to walk in a day, feed yourself, talk, ride a bike. There's so many things you did not learn to do in a day. A garden doesn't grow in a day. All right, trust the process, you guys. And um, so the workouts stream through any device, beginner, enemy, advanced workouts, all different types of workouts. If you guys are interested, check out my website, energizewithemilyfitness.com. You can find out more about my program. You can also check me out on Instagram, Energize with Emily Fitness. You can find out, my, we see my website there and there's a number you can text. Any questions you have, If you, you can text like get fit or I wanna join your program. You can see on my website, products that I use as well, you guys, I am 46. Mom of two, they're 14 and almost 18. Two boys that drive me crazy, but I love them to death. Um, 46, mom of two, I'm mean, in menopause, you guys. Yes, I'm in menopause. So I love showing you guys that you can get in shape at any age. I'm 46 and I feel like I'm 26. So you guys, just like 20 to 30 minute workouts is all it takes, but also abs are made in the kitchen. You cannot outwork poor nutrition, you guys. So um, with this fitness program, there's also nutrition part to it as well with gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, vegetarian, high protein meal plans, and you can try one or two products. So you can look more into my program on the website, energizedemilyfitness.com. And you can also um, see on my website, some of my fitness challenges that I have. I have a 10 day, um, six minute ab finisher challenge. I have a five day fitness challenge and a 30 day fitness challenge. All of the workouts, no equipment required. All those challenges are no equipment required. I also have some meal plans for you as well. Dairy free, um, uh, gluten free, high protein, low carb vegetarians. So you can find the meal plans on my website anywhere from five to $20 as well, you guys. Um, and eBooks, $5 eBooks. A lot of people have been asking for different topics. So I have so many different eBooks on there. And then I show the products that I use that help me get in shape and stay in shape in my 40s. So you can find that out as well. Check out my website, energizedemilyfitness.com. See me on Instagram and TikTok, energizedemilyfitness. Um, but yes, and mindset is so important. I always end with mindset, you guys. You gotta fuel your mind with positivity. On my website, I also have positive affirmation cards. There's 33 of them, so you can do one a day for the whole month, um, if that's how you wanna do it. But just positive affirmations, you guys. Fuel your mind with positivity. What are you listening to? What are you watching? Who do you sur surround yourself with? Okay, mindset is so important. And at the end of every video, what I always say, you guys, when in doubt, what do you do? You dance it out. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Energize with Emily. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Don't forget to dance it out.